Okay, so my trip to Nepal so far took off at um, Orlando yesterday, 5 p.m. Arrived here in Boston around uh, on time, 8 uh, p.m. Went to the gate, gate was open, supposed to start boarding around 9, 9.30, pretty much 30 minutes before the flight was supposed to take off. We got news that the flight was canceled. Now, the only thing that was weird was that we were not the only flight canceled. As I was walking to the gate, there were at least two other flights canceled. I was like, oh no, don't tell me something's going on. Please don't cancel our flights. But our flight did get canceled. The reason given was that it was technical issues. Don't know what the issues were, but uh, that's the reason given. Uh, from there, we stayed in the airport for a while, trying to figure out what in the world was going on. They got us a hotel here in the Comfort Inn. Very nice, nice hotel. And um, then they told, they took our phone number and told us to uh, wait for information. Uh, for my particular case, I never actually got contacted by the phone. Didn't get any text messages or anything. I used my smartphone to go online, keep checking Qatar Airways with my reservation number. And eventually this morning, I did see that there was an update that I'm flying out of new uh, JFK to Doha, which I found a little weird because I'm in Boston. I went downstairs, had breakfast. There's other passengers there like me, asked around. A lot of people didn't know, but this one uh, gentleman named uh, Gaish, I believe, Gave me information. He told me he had this flight book, which was the same flight I saw. So we we're pretty much going to the same area. Later on during breakfast, he came, told me that they want us to be leave the airport by noon. They're organizing a bus. I asked him how he's getting all this information because I wasn't getting it. He told me that he had downloaded the Qatar Airlines app and that he was talking to them through WhatsApp. I have WhatsApp, so I asked him, he gave me the phone number, I added the phone number to my WhatsApp, I sent them a little text uh, message with my last name and my reservation code. In the beginning I didn't hear anything, waited, kept getting some information, but 20-30 minutes later, while eating breakfast and trying to stay calm, I finally got a text message uh, through them, through WhatsApp telling me the exact same information. My flight is from JFK at 9.55 p.m. Uh, they're organizing a bus that leaves at noon from the airport, uh, be there terminally. So that was pretty cool. So definitely use WhatsApp. Internationally seems to, WhatsApp uh, seems to be the default application. Uh, side note, trying to organize a motorcycle in Nepal, I used WhatsApp to contact them and yep, in WhatsApp, they contact me pretty easily, pretty straightforward. Um, so that's uh, where we currently are. Finish having my breakfast, getting ready, we'll pack up, head downstairs and head over to the airport. Now, uh, cause little update, finally, eventually I got a phone call around 8.30 this morning. Funny enough, it was through WhatsApp in the phone number that I dialed, which was actually a phone number in Qatar, so plus 977. They called me through WhatsApp, giving me the exact same details. The only additional detail they added is that please be by the airport, at the airport by 11.15, so everything can be organized. I'm like, okay, thank you very much. So that's the trip from the logistics part so far. Uh, however, since we are here in Boston, I did get a chance to use another application, Facebook, to see if I knew anybody here in Boston. And my cousin was here. So I reached out to my cousin. We were able to meet up, uh, go out at uh, noon, noon, midnight. <laughs> and uh, we went out, they were able to reminisce, get in touch with each other, get updated. So it was a good time. Even though all these things are happening, it's an adventure, it's a fun adventure. The only thing now is I'm crossing my fingers to make sure I make it to Nepal somewhat on time because I'm going there for my friend's wedding and 
Gotta be there to celebrate him getting married. All right, that's all.